hello guys in this video i am going to show you how can you install more than one mod in your gta san andreas android so first of all what you have to do is download all the mods which you want to install in your gta san andreas and after downloading these mods you have to download the tools like alsys img editor txt fucker and txt workshop after downloading these also download winrare i have posted the links of all these tools in description so um, what you have to do is um, extract the obb files of gtsn and rias android i have already posted a video this uh, tutorial on how to extract obb files of gtsn and rias android uh, you have to watch the video if you don't know how to extract these files so after watching these videos you can continue this tutorial from here so we have to extract the obb files and uh, we have to download all the mods which we want to install now the mods i downloaded are uh, weapon mods it will replace all these stock weapons with new weapons uh, car mod and another truck mod i will install these three mods but you can install any mods and uh, any number of mods so now you have to uh, replace these mods files with the original ones and your mods will work now what I am going to do here is I am going to replace the DFF files first and then I will add all these textures in my GTSN and Rias Android. So first of all what we have to do is repla uh, replace the DFF files of all these mods, this, this and this one uh, and then we will add their textures. So, sorry. So go to open and uh, now go to the location where you extracted the obb files and open the gta3.img so, but before doing this step please make sure that you are uh, the files which you are going to replace belong to gta3.img so i am my files belong to gta3.img so i am going to open this gta3.img file and now what i have to do is replace all these dff files with original ones so I'm going to actions import remove if exists option and now go to the location where I have these downloaded mods and now I will select all these files which I want to add here I have selected all these files you can uh, select all these files by clicking on the first file then holding the shift button and clicking the last file and it will select all the files present between them so just click open and now you will see all these files are replaced with the original ones after doing this we have to replace the dff files of other mods here click open and now another mod go to that mod and replace the dff file of that mod by doing this so after replacing all these dff files we have to click actions and click rebuild this may take time depending on your computer so you have to wait now we have replaced the dff files what we have to do is add the textures to our gtsn and rias android after the rebuilding is complete you can simply close the RCS IMG editor. Now you will see our mods also contains textures like uh, with alpha and without alpha folders. Some mods may not contain these textures but uh, those which contain these textures should be imported to our GTSN and Rias Android. So we will open TXT Fucker. Now click open and now we have to go to the location where we extracted the obb files from here we have to go to textdb folder then go to the location uh, sorry then go to the folder where the mod files should be placed now this is the important step if you the mod you are installing is a weapon mod or a car mod then you should replace your files uh, in gta3.txt file but if you are uh, going to uh, change a menu or player skin then you have to go to the menu or player folder 
I am installing car mods and weapon mods so all the textures are in GTA 3 folder and inside this file GTA 3.txt so I am going to click this file and click open now when it's opened now what we have to do is click on import and go to with alpha options and now choose all these files all the files which are present inside with alpha folder go to the location where you have downloaded the mod and now I have selected the with alpha option so I am going to add all the files which are inside with alpha folders click open and click yes you can click yes if you want to replace all these files now it may take time depending on your computer as sometimes it take uh, very time uh, so make sure you do not close it or uh, you should not do anything while txt fucker is working because it may stop responding or as uh, there are some bugs currently in this version of txt fucker if you are going to replace large number of textures make sure you replace them in parts now I have added the with alpha uh, textures now I am going to click import and this time I will select without alpha option and go to the without alpha folder of this mod and select all these files and click open so what you have to do is select all these files and click open and it will start replacing these textures with the original ones okay. click yes if it asks for it, click yes if it asks to replace and if uh, txt fucker stop responding do not click anywhere it will auto respond after some time so similarly do these steps with other mods with alpha should be imported by selecting with alpha option and without alpha texture should be imported by going to import and without alpha option I have skipped some textures because I am only doing a tutorial. So, uh, when all these files are done importing, then you have to close the TXT fucker and uh, go to the location where you extracted the OBB files and go to TextDB folder and now you have to copy the folders which uh, in which you added uh, the modded files in my case I added my files to GTA 3 folder and GTA 3.img so I am going to copy GTA 3 folder and GTA 3.img file copy them and I will go to my phone's memory Android folder data folder com.rockstargames.gtsc folder files folder if you do not have this folder you have to create it by right clicking it and go to new folder option go to files folder and then go to txdb fo textdb folder you can also create this folder by going to right click right clicking and selecting new folder option and just paste them here I have already pasted them here so I am not going to add them again so after replacing all these files and doing all these things just close and now run the game I hope the mod will work if you like my work <laughs> and if you like this video please subscribe like and share I am going to do some more tutorial videos soon so please like subscribe for more videos and thanks for watching and if you have any problem you can comment below my video I will reply as soon as I can